Hello everyone, X Wallkill Bethelite here. And the last few videos I've done, I guess, is have, have sparked some controversy. Now I don't guess I know. Because uh my girlfriend is currently uh completely convinced that I'm about to uh hop in the car and drive 27 hours from Texas to New York and go pick up somebody's wife. So this 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 was a real conversation like this 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 I I literally got in trouble because <laughs> she is currently completely convinced I'm going to get in the car drive 27 hours to New York and then just go pick up somebody's wife. I mean, that would take me, if I drove eight hours straight, it would take me like three days and, and, and to get to New York and three days to get back basically. So, so my girlfriend is completely under the impression, completely believes that I'm going to get in the car and drive three days to New York and then three days back to go pick up somebody's wife. So let me go ahead and clarify that while I do think that we should be able to contact some churches, maybe some social services, something to make a way for people who don't have a way. I mean, I know how hard it was for me and I was single at Bethel. So I can't imagine how hard it is for uh, a woman who had to get married to even get in the Bethel. And then when she gets there, finds all this stuff out the hard way and is trying to essentially get out. So I think that there should be a, some agency somewhere because it's so blatantly obvious. Watchtower don't provide anything, which means there's nothing at all provided for people who get stuck at Bethel. So I think that there should definitely be something provided. The state, somebody should look into this and say, yes, this is potentially a bad situation. What do y'all, they should ask Watchtower, what do y'all have in place for the people who now don't have money because they didn't work for you for free for four years and they want to leave? What do y'all have in place? Watchtower don't have nothing in place. They don't care about the people. So yeah, I think something should be done, but through some kind of agency or something like that. Me saying that I'm going to go pick up somebody's wife they going to go to work. Me saying that somebody that a Bethel is going to go to work and then come back home from work and his wife is going to be gone and I'm driving off with there is a joke. That's a joke. I'm not driving. I'm not driving 27 hours to New York to go pick up somebody's wife. On top of the fact that I said that this is something that I, I, I do take seriously and I want them to be protected like i don't want random people online trying to pick them up and another thing is even from a legal standpoint i want to clear that up because if somebody comes up missing at bethel don't come looking at me from a legal standpoint i want to clear it up that i want something official through an official organization be it a church be it the state i feel like something should be in place I don't think random people from the internet should be picking people up because we, especially if we don't know who they are, because I've had this thing with, uh, the community, you know, where we'll come up with ideas, maybe not necessarily about Bethel, but we'll come up with ideas. Uh, and you know, this happened a long time ago, but I remember coming up with some ideas and I can't even remember what the idea was, 
But somebody said, hey, that's a good idea. I'm going to go tell such and such about it and get them to do it. And I'm like, wait a minute. Why are you grabbing my idea and then going to go find somebody else to go do it? Like, yeah, you got a great idea, but I want somebody other than you to do it. And the thing, the thing about it is the person that they were wanting to go and put the, the plans in action is somebody from online that they ain't never met before. So that's, that's, I don't think it's a good idea for anybody from Bethel to hop in a car with somebody because that could definitely set up something pretty bad. Hop in a car with somebody uh, that they never met before from online and there's nothing official, there's nothing covering them or nothing. No, I want something official through an official organization. Me talking about hopping in the car Driving off with somebody's wife is a joke. My girlfriend didn't think that was funny. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm not driving 27 hours to, because I'm in Texas. I ain't driving 27 hours to go to Bethel to go pick somebody up personally. You know what I mean? I want something official. Ooh. You know what I mean? Something practical, something official. For people, I really think that there should be something there because we got unemployment for people that don't uh, work. We got all kinds of things for people to have kids and need help. We got assistance for any and everything there is. But you got this organization that is luring people to New York to come and work for free. And when they're out of money and stranded in New York, we don't have nothing for them. Either make Watchtower pay a minimum wage or put something in place because you got something in place for everything and everybody else. If somebody has kids with somebody and that person don't want to have nothing to do with take care of the kid. Well, we got something called child support. We got something in place in society for everybody except victims of Watchtower. So that's why I was speaking out about the uh, women that are lured because I think the guys, there should be something in place for, for everybody. But I think it might be easier for the guys to get out because they just signed it on the dotted line that they're going to work there and then they can leave. But for the women who marry in, you know what I mean? It's a little bit different for them. Uh, as far as being able to get out, I guess they would just have to up and leave their husband or something. I don't know. But uh, this whole thing about uh, the whole cheating thing, because... I've never cheated in my life. Like there's there's nobody I have ever dated. We'll probably get into a little bit of discussion about Watchtower later, but this is more of a personal video. I personally have never cheated ever. And the reason for that is personality. Like you, I don't like that sort of thing. That's not what I'm into. That's not attractive to me. Believe it or not, everybody's not into everything. I don't like, I'm more of the romantic type, right? I'm, I'm more of the, I like the romance. There's nothing romantic about the whole cheating thing. I don't like any of that. I don't like strip clubs. For the longest time, I have never liked strip clubs. Why? There ain't nothing romantic about somebody dancing around with every guy in an entire building and then you getting your turn. There's nothing romantic about it, right? So there's probably people like, well, you don't like strip clubs. You don't like cheating. You don't like this, that, and the other. No, it's very possible that there are guys that don't even like that sort of thing. They're not into it. Heck, there's people that don't like chocolate. There's all there's there's people who don't like just about anything. 
You are you. What do you mean you don't like chocolate? I don't. I like chocolate, but I'm just saying there's somebody that don't like almost anything. So this whole concept that all guys cheat is a blatant lie. It is a blatant lie. And I think that to a certain extent, it's a lie used by both men and women. It's used by men to excuse cheating. And then it's used by women to excuse staying with a guy who's cheating because they try to say everybody does it. No, they don't. And I don't I don't understand because like for me. The girl I'm dating, we've been dating for like a year and a half. And there's no girl that she could not name a single person that she didn't seen me uh, try to do something with. You know what I mean? Like there, 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 you can't name anybody. Uh, there's, 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 there's no specific person in the course of an entire year and a half that no exes, none of that stuff, right? I can even get on video and say that, that over the course of a year and a half, there ain't been no other woman uh, that I done tried to be romantic with. Really, there ain't no other woman that I'm, I done tried to be, you know, that I'm, I've been alone with, let alone romantic, like none of that stuff. But the crazy thing is, is a lot of guys, the reason why we are constantly under investigation as far as cheating is concerned is because of somebody else. It's the age old story where some other guy cheats and then everybody and, and then everybody else pays for it. But. What ends up happening is some guy cheats or woman cheats and then the person gets with somebody who don't like nothing to do with cheating. You ain't never seen them cheat before. You ain't you ain't never seen them with no other uh, woman or man in that manner. But the person that is the furthest thing from cheating is the one that gets blamed for it. I remember dating somebody uh, and I and I have this conversation with virtually everybody that I date that I'm just I'm not I'm not that that guy. I just don't I don't I just don't do that. I don't have kids. If I was just out there like that, you think you think I'd have one kid by now. Right. I don't have kids. Why? Because I'm more of a principled person. That's how I ended up at Bethel, I think. I'm more of a principle-driven person. I like the concept of romance. I like the concept of having a woman, a a a, a girlfriend, a wife. I, I like that concept. That concept appeals to me. It makes sense to me. The guys that cheat, like they got a whole wife, they got a whole family and they off cheating somewhere. I never understood it. I never understood it because I felt like, well, those guys could have just stayed single. So what was the point? Matter of fact, there was a girl I dated. I don't get into no names or nothing like that. But long story short, there was some guy meeting up with her and whatnot while I wasn't there. And I find out about it later. And what ends up happening is I'm so upset about it. And I'm so the type of person that I just don't get why you would do it, because this guy was the typical stereotypical cheater. He had his, he had kids. He was married. And he's trying to take my girlfriend, too. I don't understand that. So for literally, I got the guy's number and without the girl I was dating who he had been meeting up with, 
without her knowing, I called him. I was mad. I called him. I'm like, I want to meet up somewhere because I didn't understand. I'm like, I, I, I was so mad. I just don't understand a guy who's got a family, got kids, got all that. Okay, let me just go take somebody else's too. I, I don't get that. I don't get that. That could have went way left because I called him and then I was so pissed off. I was so livid. He didn't answer. I laid down. I went to sleep and then I woke up and he had called me. It's like freaking divine intervention that when he called me, I was asleep because had I been awake and had it been possible for us to meet up anywhere, it went how it went. The point is, the reason that went left is because it's like oil and water. I don't, I'm not into that sort of thing. I'm not into that sort of thing. I don't, I'm not into the whole cheating thing. I don't understand it. I'm more of the romantic type. And I think I get that from my, for, I get that much from my, my father. I get that much from my father because my, my father would always, uh, you know, he was in another state and he would always, uh, let's just say he's a romantic type. He's a romantic type because I'd be the one delivering the chocolates and stuff like that. You know what I mean? He called me, you know, go get this music CD, you know, go get that, uh, uh, Luther Vandross for me. You know what I mean? Go pick up these chocolates. You know, go do this for your sister. Go do that. My my father was the romantic type. And I think that's where I got my whole concept of male female interaction was from watching my my father. My father was the type to have the music playing. He's he was not my stepdad, my my biological father. He's the type to have the music playing. He's the type to go get the chocolates. He's the type to just go all out. And my whole con the whole concept of that is you you can't do that but with so many women. How can you go all out with multiple? My in my mind, my concept is you go all out with one. You ain't got the energy to go all out and do the whole romantic thing and everything with multiple. It don't even make no sense. So I've always been that type of person where if I'm dating one person, you know what I mean? I'm 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 pouring all that 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 romantic stuff, the same thing my my father would do. I'm doing that same thing. And it's only one it don't the, the it only works with one woman for me. I can't speak for nobody else, but I can get on video and say it because I ain't never been. There's nobody that can watch this video and be like, yeah, this dude cheated with such and such a such and such a woman. You know what I mean? I've been accused of cheating and then the accusers never have a specific woman. I'm like, OK, with who? Who is this woman? You know what I mean? Like there was a time. This is back when I was in Ohio. Uh. And I don't think I was dating anybody. I wasn't dating at all. And one of the women that I work with, she, out of nowhere, we were just having a conversation with a group of people. And out of nowhere, she said, yeah, Marcus seems like the player type. He seems like he's the, he's the ladies' man. He talked to everybody. Matter of fact, I think it's because uh, one of the customers came in and uh, I talked to him and, you know, or her, I talked to her and I'm pretty, you know, friendly with everybody at work also. So I talked to the customer because uh, they came to pick something up and I got them. I got it out to him or whatever. And just from that, just from that, the girl is like, oh, he's he's and she said it with me standing right there. Yeah, Marcus is the player type. Marcus Marcus talks to all the women and all this stuff. Keep in mind, I wasn't dating right. I wasn't dating at the time. I wasn't talking to nobody. What I don't understand, 
and this is something maybe the guys can help me out with, is why is it that the ladies, the guys that they accuse of cheating or the guys that they think are the cheating type are the polar opposite. They're the romantic type. And then the guys that they date are the cheating type. I don't understand it because the girl that said, oh, Marcus is a player. Marcus is, is a ladies man, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, no, nah, not really. <laughs> uh, that girl ends up dating a guy. And here's the thing. I don't really judge it. I don't judge it because that's her choice. You date who you want. But she ends up dating a guy that probably slept with darn near every woman in the freaking building. What's the point? I don't understand. Why is it that the, the radar is up around guys that don't cheat? And then the radar is completely down and I'm in the bed with the guy who done slept with everybody here. That logic does not apply in my mind. And why is it that the, 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 the girls that catch these guys cheating, they know they cheaters. They don't leave them. I don't. It's, it's, it's completely upside down. Life is completely upside down when it comes to. The interactions between women, a lot of women, I can't say everybody, but women and their guard somehow being down when it comes to guys that cheat and guys that are abusive and guys that are all the things that you want to stay away from, that's who they end up with. But the guy, guys who don't cheat, the guys that ain't abusive, and I ain't perfect, but I just don't. Cheating is not my thing. But the guys that don't cheat, the guys that are not abusive, those are the guys that they, they they suspect of being cheaters or abusive. Explain this to me. This got to be, it happens too often for there not to be some logic to it. There's got to be some logic to it. Like for me, during COVID, and this is probably something a lot of us can uh, relate to. During COVID, if you're dating during COVID, did you see your significant other? Did you see your boyfriend? Did you see your girlfriend? How often? Me, I think during the whole COVID, like right now they're getting, the vaccines are out and everything. And me and my girlfriend are just now starting to go on dates. This past weekend was our second date in a long time like during all of COVID I think we maybe saw each other two or three times officially we officially saw each other probably I think maybe two or three times and this is like with eight months to a year or something like that like I can't I don't know COVID from the time lockdown started we hadn't seen each other but a couple times up until like last weekend, last weekend, we, we get together and it had been so long since we seen each other. We, we, we hop in the car and we look at each other like, man, I got what you look like, man. It, it, it was, it was, it was like that. Now, if I was the cheating type, Wouldn't I have cheated during during the time that I hadn't seen my girlfriend, but a couple times in like eight months? You know what I mean? It's 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 or 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 wouldn't I have at least attempted? Like I ain't even come close to cheating, even though I hadn't. Seen, we were in like in a full blown long distance relationship. Or it was like a long distance relationship. She's she's less than 30 minutes away from me. But we were only talking on the phone and only doing like we were doing video chat sometimes. Like that was pretty much the whole relationship. And when we would be able to see each other next was open ended. 
we had no idea when we'd be able to see each other. You know what I mean? As far as her and her family was concerned, heck, it could be three, four years before we see each other. And I still stayed and still didn't cheat. So why is it that the guys that are the furthest from cheating are the guys that are under the most serious investigation? Right. A girl was still super clear of a guy who does not cheat because she thinks he cheats. And then the guy who does, she's with him so quick. You know what I mean? Or she finds out that the guy cheats and just stays. I don't know what it is. I don't I don't get it. it but it happens a lot. It happens a lot. So this is more of a personal video. Covering myself from the whole because I, I sat and thought about it and i'm like man if somebody does come up missing at bethel man they ain't sitting the the they ain't sitting the feds after me somebody comes up missing because they hop in the car with somebody from bethel y'all ain't y'all ain't coming after me talking about i drove 27 hours down to bethel I don't even know how I would do that and 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 be at work. I'd have to call off work or something to be able to do something like that. Like y'all ain't sending the cops after me. If somebody comes up missing at Bethel, y'all are not sending the cops after me. I'm talking about doing it official. Driving off with somebody and waving at the Bethel the Bethel broke brothers while I'm driving off with somebody is a joke. So somebody comes up missing or something like that, y'all can't come after me. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. How's your day? Just a personal video. How's your day? <laughs> uh, X Wild Kill Bethelot signing out. I'm about to get something to eat.